Hi and welcome to week one of the video for educators course. My name is Matthijs Klaaster, one of the tutors. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Premiere Pro based on assignment number one. So we are going to ask you to uh, gather some footage or use our footage um, to create an edit on the beat of a, a nice piece of music. So yeah, to get started with editing, we of course need to have some video footage. And you can easily find footage based on a theme on, uh, let's say, videos.pexels.com um, on Pexels you will find a uh, really good quality video which are royalty free as well um, so if for instance my team would be summer um, and I type in summer and search for some videos I can find some beautiful videos based on that theme and uh, when I click on one I will be able to free download the footage and get started inside of Premiere Pro we could use the audio from the uh, YouTube audio library, which are free. And Ben Sound is a, a website where we can find some audio footage, which is uh, quite awesome. And if you want to search for royalty free photos, you could also make use of Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark Post will allow you to search for the uh, same theme as well and create a nice uh, composition based on that image. And then when you are done, you could download that as well and get started inside of Premiere Pro. So that's where you can find your footage. And I've already downloaded uh, a couple of files uh, and a little bit of music, and I want to get started in Premiere Pro. Um, so I'm already in my welcome screen. And Premiere Pro asks me directly uh, yeah, to create a new project. So let's do that. And in this new project window, uh, we need to um, give the project a name already. So this is assignment uh, one or week one or whatever you'd like. Uh, please don't use untitled because that's uh, really not a good idea. Um, and of course, I will need to find a nice location on my hard drive where I would like to uh, yeah, save all my footage. So let's choose that one. Um, all the other uh, information is by default perfect to get started with. So OK allows us to start up Premiere Pro. So this is the interface of Premiere Pro. And of course, we will need to start with importing our footage. So I'm going to go for File and Import. And from my folder, I will select everything that I need and import. So all my files, my videos, my pictures and my audio file over here are imported in what we call the project bin. And in the project bin, we can hover over items and already see something playing. So we can get a feel of what the video is like. And when we uh, double tap or double click on a video, it will open up the video in our source monitor. So this is the original footage will be located in the left monitor. But we are going to build a sequence of videos and the sequence will show up over here once we are creating our timeline, our sequence. Um, the most easy way to do that is just select one of the videos, um, preferably the one that you want to start your video with, and drag it on top of my timeline panel. And that will create a new sequence. But in this case, we are going to build a sequence based on some music. Um, we are going to edit on the beat of the music file. So let's open up our MP3 file with a double click and that will show us our uh, waveform and on the waveform we can already notice the beat of the music a bit and those moments in time are really awesome to do your editing on so editing on the cut will make it a nice video uh, by default actually um, so what we can do is just hover over this little button over here drag audio only and drag it on top of our audio timeline or we can easily drag and drop it from our project bin onto audio track number two because we can see audio track number one is already the one where our audio from the videos will be located um, i really want to make sure that our music will be uh, locked so we can't make any mistakes on the audio um, so let's lock this track and zoom in with the back end of this uh, this scroll bar um, so we can see a bit more of our audio there we go and let's hover over the little part in between of audio track two and three and just drag that bit downwards a bit. So now we can see the beat as well. And let's have a little listen. So we can see that there's a nice uh, uh, beat in the music. Um, so moments in time where we can cut the video on. So let's 
move the playhead on top of our beat and let's split the clip in two with the razor tool. That's fairly the easiest way to um, really cut something in two. And let's select the right hand side and just delete it with the button on your keyboard. Let's go for it. And now when I double click on uh, clip number two, it wants me to create a nice in point for our video. So where do we want to start our video? That's um, been easily done with the mark in tool and we can play and make a nice out point a mark out. And now just drag your video footage on video track number one and it will snap together perfectly. I think this is a nice moment in time to uh, uh, cut the video as well. So we could use the razor tool again or just hover over the tail of this clip and move it backwards. There we go, so it's nicely on top of the next beat. And let's search for something new. I like this lens flare. So let's start with that lens flare, make a mark in, play a bit, mark out, and just drag it and snap it to the other clip as well. So this is the thing that we're gonna repeat a couple of times. So I've added some uh, some more clips to my timeline. And in this case, I've got this uh, rather long clip. And actually I would like to cut it in two on this moment in time. But if you watch closely, this one is more zoomed in than the original one. Um, that's because this uh, footage on the left hand side is probably uh, filmed on a higher resolution than my timeline is. And we will cover more of that in the uh, live classes and other videos. Um, but in this case, I would like to zoom out, if you will. Um, so what I could do is hover over this moment in time where the beat is and just cut the video in two with the razor tool. There we go. And now what I could say is to this clip, this right clip, um, let's right click and then set scale to frame size. And that will make sure that everything is uh, uh, zoomed out. So we've got this effect. There we go. And that will give us that, uh, that drone effect. It shows us a little bit of black bars underneath. So it's not exactly the same aspect ratio as my original uh, timeline is. So I could uh, double click on the video, scale it upwards a bit. There we go. So we won't see the, um, the black bars anymore. So this is something that could work. In the end, I would like to uh, stop with a nice picture. So let's go over here. And that's a picture which I found on uh, Adobe Spark. Let's do that. And this is a JPEG, so we can make it longer and shorter, whatever you'd like. There we go. Let's hover over. Black bars on the side. Um, that doesn't really make sense. So let's zoom over here as well. There we go. And this gives me a nice uh, image to make a title on. So let's show a bit more of the beach. And on top of the uh, the image, we can place a title. So I'm going to select a type tool and just click inside of my monitor and start typing. Summer. Uh, I would like to add two words. So let's select nothing and then the T again. Mood. And probably I would like to change the typography a bit. So I would like to have another font. So when you want to change the font, uh, please go into the graphics panel. It's fairly the easiest way to uh, start editing your titles. So edit the titles. And there you will find the typography. So not this one, but I would like to have the noteworthy. That gives me a nice summer feeling. So let's double click and I would like to make the S a little bit bigger. Selection tool again and organize things a bit more. And I think then we are ready to export out the video because of course we would like to have an MP4 file uh, which runs perfectly on YouTube or Vimeo. Um, so let's select the timeline and uh, let's see if everything is okay on the end. Um, well, this is 
a bit glitchy so we would like to shorten this one a bit and this is the title perfect so let's export out the video file export and then choose media please be aware of the fact that you will need to have something selected inside of your timeline uh, there needs to be a, a blue line around this panel in order to export out the entire sequence and then there are three things that you need to do you need to check the format which needs to be an h264 format and that will give us a mp4 file with lots of presets um, i would like you to choose either something on vimeo or youtube because that's where we are going to host our videos in my case i will select youtube full hd and then finally we need to have an output name and a location so let's select the name in this folder that's perfect final edit summer save and then just export out your video immediately and let's have a look So that's all that you need to know for creating assignment number one. Good luck with creating your video. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.